Hi there, hope you are doing good. So in this video, I want to talk to you about handlers in Android and why it's a useful tool. So the thing is when your app launches, then Android runs it in a thread. Now, if you are familiar with Java, you will understand what the thread is. But in simple terms, it's a process. So Android runs each app in its own process both for stability and security reasons. Now there can be a scenario uh, where you want to schedule a piece of code to run at a later time. Like you might have seen when you launch an app, then after a few seconds you get a message like do you need any help or something like that. So that can be achieved using handlers. Now handlers work with the runnable interface. So thing is that when you use handlers, Android basically creates a new process and that process is executed separately. Now there are two advantages. When you create a new thread, then it's a good user experience. You're not blocking the current thread which is running and displaying the UI. And at the same time, you can prevent crashes and you can handle it in a better way. So we are going to see how you can use handlers. Uh, but there are two primary methods in handlers like post and post delayed and post delayed is used to delay the code execution by a certain number of milliseconds so i've put together a piece of code for you and we'll run it and see so first let's look at how how i've achieved this so if you if you if you're familiar with the main activity that was created a while back so i've added a say hello method Okay, and what the what the goal is is to display a message to the user after five seconds okay so if you see I have created a new handler instance here and I have used the post delayed method I have created a new runnable object because if you are overriding if you are implementing the runnable interface which is needed to create a new thread then you have to override the run method basically so I've done exactly that I've overridden the run method in post delayed you pass two parameters one is the runnable object and second is the number of seconds which is like 5000 milliseconds okay and in the run method I have just simply put a message to display it a toast so do you need any help that's it and I've just called this say hello from my on create method. So the link to this source will be available in the GitHub repository. I'll paste that link as well as the code snippet will be available in the blog. For now, let's run this app and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to run this app in my emulator and show you. So if you see the app will launch and after five seconds, this message gets displayed. Do you need any help? So I hope you get an idea how to do this stuff. You, you should go ahead and try this handler thing out. It's very cool. It's very simple. And there are a lot of scenarios you can use it. Like you want to display a chat pop up like the customer agent pop up or something like that. So I hope this, uh, this video was useful to you and I'll paste the blog link below. So until next time, take care.